All right, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen. <laughs> Here we are with our first extended tutorial video. Yes, yes. The people have been asking. I'm here to fulfill your request. Now, we're going to begin with our crest. Bars. <laughs> Every time, most times, on Chimera, I'm going to go with the Phoenix Crest. Why, you might ask? Because if I die, I don't die. I just come back again with 40% of my maximum health. Now, you see, with Chimera... 40% is enough to get me back to 100% if I just keep swinging. So that's what I'm going to pick. Because as a Chimera, your job is to just keep swinging. If you are scared, do not pick Chimera. He is not the character for you. You feel me? He is a fighter through and through. To his core and his soul, he resonates. Fight me, bro. You feel me? So I'm going to start at my red. They have a Chimera. I really hate mirror matches. You know, who doesn't? But I actually love going against another Chimera because the entire match, we are here to assert my dominance. He will know his place in this world. <laughs> you dig? So now, you know, just farming doing the good old red buff you got to make sure that you're paying attention to the map map awareness is the number one thing junglers don't have <laughs> who would have thought the role that needs the most map awareness has the least sheesh anywho i always keep my eye on the map try and know what's going on know who's healthy where who's ready to die because as a chimera i'm just hunting my prey now I had to go ahead and change my settings because yeah my health bar was over to my shoulder I wasn't sure why it was like this you know beta things but uh, I had to go ahead and switch that up real quick and now we're good to go now I also do this thing where I try to walk around the buff so that I have clear vision of what's going on around me 360 because you're not gonna roll up on me in my house and think it's sweet you feel me so that's just a tactic that I advise you to implement when you are jungling. Really with any character, not just Chimera, but any character. Just so it's protecting yourself, preventing you from getting ganked or jump, you know. And uh, yeah, you just stay in 10 toes by doing such a thing. Now you gotta make sure to smite in the early game so that your smite does evolve. Now here... I'm going to go ahead and level up. I'm going to take his river buff because this is the one that he would come to based on the side of the map that he started. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just apply a little pressure to Buddy so he know, hey, pimp, I'm out here. You feel me? Don't think shit's sweet. I'll be back. And then I continue. Now I'm going to go ahead and take her jungle buff because she's, uh, she's full on her mana. So I can use this for my XP because I didn't get a kill there. And uh, I'm going to go back into my jungle. Now, as I hunt to my blue, I'm skipping to Malu. And I'm like, okay, we're going to start this camp because you want to have your camp that you hit in a path. You don't just want to go from blue to this camp and then back over to the other white camp. Because it's, it's too much movement and it's without a purpose. Because once I hit this camp, hit the blue camp, I'm looking to gank somewhere and really it's left lane because they're the the furthest pushed up and the most likely to get killed but see as i'm as i'm telling them hold off and i'm i'm, I'm getting my blue bug something miraculous happens i spot me a wild chimera in my jungle and i'm quite confused not only that he starts farming my things oh that's maximum disrespect there eh. So he had to get dealt with real quick. What he doesn't know is that, yes, we are both stacked up because that's what Chimera's passive is, you know, health regeneration based on the number of that is stacked up 30. He might be stacked up, but my team is right here. Right, his team is coming, but I'm gonna level up on him. 
he shouldn't have started this fight. He shouldn't have been here. And he died. Okay. Now, they tried to come in and save him. I said, no, 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 no. And she dies. Now, Sparrow, she will get out. That's not the point. Two deaths. All because he was in the wrong place at the right time. So now what am I doing? You might be wondering. Well, I'm looking for the gold buff. You see? Because I'm trying to see if we can get that. But we can't because it's already taken. So I'm back in the base to spend my money. Make sure that you're never... I'm guilty of it sometimes. Being out for too long. Not spending your gold. Getting in fights. When you could have had more than you have. Always try and take your W's and go spend your tokens. Alright, so now we're back out here. What am I doing? See, the red is up in 16 seconds. I farmed this white camp over here. So that I can hit this camp, hit my red buff, hit that white camp, and look to gank that howitzer. Now, I could go straight to the howitzer, but why don't I do that? Because he's level 6, I'm level 4, he got an ult, I don't. It's bad business. I'm two levels away. I can get these few camps, I can kind of stand in mid, and I'll be able to get my level 6. And then, uh, secure a kill there. Now, based on the Chimera's actions, my previous notion of him being a decent Chimera is now out the window. I now know what type of person he is, because he believed himself worthy enough to be lurking in my jungle. Crazy. So we take this buff, tell the Morgash to take the other buffs. Now Howitzer doesn't have any buffs. That means he doesn't have if he doesn't have mana, he's not getting any. And he has to go back to base. Now if we drop wars, we see that the Chimera was on the war. I said interesting. So now we're gonna do this again. We're gonna take this buff. It's moving speed. Perfect. I need to move fast. I figured it was okay that he saw me. We're just gonna apply some pressure. And I'm trying to hit these uh these minions so I can hit my six. And I'm like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and hit six. Grab this. Now I see the Chimera. I had to go ahead and teach him a lesson on how you invade someone's jungle. You don't just walk in there and start hitting things. No, no, no. That was reckless. You surprised them. Like so. And with that, we're taking his red buff and we're dipping. Yeah. So that's why you don't go into my jungle and let me see you do it. Because now I've got a vendetta against you, friend. And it won't be good. So now I see these guys a little too far pushed up. I said, okay. Let's get the phase. Because she's the real problem. If we start attacking the Sparrow, she'll just yank her. So we'll make sure that doesn't happen. Then the Chimera thinks that he can come out and try to gank when he's already behind. What he should do is he should farm. But since he's not farming and he's kind of running around aimlessly, eating no farm, that just helps me propel and snowball even better. I'm going to go ahead and take the gold buff because I came over here. I didn't get the double kill, so I'm just going <laughs> to take this one and down. I appreciate it. Love you. And then, uh... We're gonna go back into my guns. Do some more farming, do some more hunting. At this point, I really could have taken Stanktooth already. However, that's not what my focus was based on the lane pressure and just how the game is going. But at this point, as a Chimera, I can definitely take Fangtooth when it spawns, as well as the Mini Prime. Now I'm I'm hiding over here the way I was because I kind of felt that the Chimera was going to keep coming back because of the fact that he's already behind. She 
grinding these pretty too. But at this point, I just got to go. So we're gonna ult her. I should have popped my heal there. I should have popped my heal and my cleanse because I could have unreared myself. However, my, my brain was in bloodlust. However, that's okay. You know, lessons learned. This was also uh, one of the first few games that I played with Chimera, so I was really not in the mindset of activating what is now an active ability, <laughs> because previously his passive was an ability itself, but the predecessor they made it to where he can remove debuffs, so when I was rooted or if I'm stunned, I can activate that. And it also heals me and cleanses me of any CC. So I could have activated it at that point to save myself. However, mine was not. But now we're back to farming. Like I said, the buff rotations are pretty much going to be the same based on where I'm trying to go. I'm not really rotating to right because he doesn't just really need me like that. So I'm trying to help the parts of the map that actually need my assistance, which is mid and left as of right now. And also I am trying to keep the uh, Chimera as suppressed as possible. So at this point, I think I'm going to go for many times. And Chimera can definitely take the time as, as soon as he spawns. Now, again, this was first few games, so my mindset wasn't, oh, he's gonna knock me back, save my loot for that, until it happened, now I'm like, okay, <laughs> so I have to save my loot for that, because I need to keep my stacks on me prime, otherwise it will kill me, for first piece. So we go ahead and take mini prime, smite it, get it down. And now we're gonna find a lane to push. Now mini prime is only given to the person who kills it. And it gives you the basically pushing power or tower pressure that is needed. So typically you want to go ahead and let the jungle uh, get that last hit on that. So I, I figured he was gonna try to escape. We went ahead and ulted and kept him there. And that was his life. So now we're going to go ahead and rotate left. Because they look like they're kind of getting clapped right now. And with Prime, it does give me a power boost. I figured they died. I can't really... I could have 2v1, but I didn't really want to. So I prefer to go ahead and take the objective. Since they are going to take that tower over there. So we're going to go ahead and take Fang 2. In the process of this. So now I have many time for myself and Fang 2 for the team. We need as many Fang 2s as we can get so we can get the overall power because right now it looks like uh, most of the kills are happening with me. <laughs> so we got to do all we can to keep the game carried and winnable. Now we go ahead and jump on this barrel. I did say we focus the phase here, but. I figured the Sparrow is going to be damaged. So, we go ahead and revive, clap her like that. And again, still not in the mindset of using my, my cleanse to either cleanse myself from the root or even just get a quick little heal from it. So that is something that I'm 150% not doing that I should be doing. <laughs> so keep that in mind. Uh, I do have some later videos coming up where I do indeed fully utilize the kit <laughs> after reading the kit because I just assumed it a little bit but never did. so now we're going to try and take this tower while I have the uh, mini prime buff and two of my teammates I figured the phase herself can't really stop us so we do need some more minions I'm just trying to keep hitting the minions so that I can uh, keep my stacks not realizing that my stacks are not gaining from the mini themselves. But with the mini prime, I tried to take it, mini prime ran out, the team backed out, 
and death acquired. But that's all good, you know, dies for the cause, trying to take the tower. Again, this is a case where I, I should have went back well before I tried to take the tower. If I had done that, if I went back and spent before I tried to take the tower, I 100% would have taken the tower with my team there. So again, this is why you want to make sure you spin when you have that moolah to spin. Get it up off you because it's no good in your pocket, brother. So now, my favorite side is red side because as a chimera, I need that damage. I don't need it, but it's preferred 100%. So we go ahead and try and get that. Then I see the team fight break out on left side over there. However, they look like they got that. They're overpowering them. It looks like a 4v2. So I don't even go over there because there's no need. I'm not going to make it to that fight before somebody dies and it's going to be a waste of XP for me. So I completely ignore it and continue my farm. However, I see Wright pushing and I say I might be able to kill her since they went ahead and got them on left. But it looks like she's back up. So I just go ahead and farm the lane because I'm again trying to get the maximum amount of XP and gold so that I can skyrocket to the roof. I know this is down, but I still want to check it anyway. And then we're going to go ahead and move towards middle because I see a team fight breaking out there. However, she dies almost instantly. I see him over here. I hear it actually. So we go ahead and take them out and then we make our way to the On the way, we're gonna go ahead and snag this because it literally takes no time. And we're gonna go for the phase when we get there because she's the lowest. And with the howitzer, I don't wanna hear it. Leap on her immediately, take her out. Then we switch our sight to the howitzer. He blinks, I see the chimera. He thinks that he can fight this. So we just burst him down and we get gone. Then I look for his red. His red is not up. His white hand is up. So we're going to go ahead and snag this. Again, just moving as like a train that never stops collecting XP along the way. And also in doing this and farming his jungle, it 100% gimps him and stops him from being able to stop me. You see he was level 7. I'm level 11, so I'm well ahead of him. And he's just not having a good time. Now I see the sparrow immediately as she spotted. I leave. But then she does have the phase. She gets pulled. I still am unaware of the cleanse that could save my life so many times in just this video alone. <laughs> However, it's all good because clearly we don't need it. It's just it's just an option for me. However, I finally pop it for the first time of my life. <laughs> And we go ahead and secure the kill. So that was the time that I realized that I can unroot myself. It was th at that moment that I decided I could be better. And with that revelation, I turned into a whole different chimera. I turned into a real right problem, that is. We hate the death timers, but they are what they are. At this point, we're just trying to see what the map has going on and kind of plan what our route is in the afterlife. Now we go ahead and purchase that item and shoot off here. I see that they're gathering on right. I kind of want Orb Prime since we're all over there. But I also see that there was a death. So what I do, I because what else am I supposed to do? <laughs> so now we're going to go ahead and try and see if the river buff is here. Hopefully speed is speed. Boom, boom, boom. And I'm on my way, guys. Let's go ahead and take this because it cannot stop us. And that's that. So I did get mini prime earlier. However, it was early enough, so it did spawn again, and I died with it, so I am going to go ahead and take this top gate. So, I am taking it. My team is defending them all, preventing them from getting to me via uh, Grayson and the uh, Morgesh. However, the Morgesh on Morgesh action got her killed, but I did go ahead and secure the mini prime. 
which was a pretty good get. I am going to rotate to left, see if I can kill them and then snag Fangtooth. Let them know that I am on my way to them and I am running as fast as I can go. I see that that was the attack speed buff. Then I see that the Chimera is actually already on Fang. So I smite it, steal it from him, beat him into submission. Go ahead and ult because he can't heal. And that's that. Now I'm going to go to left. The Kira died, but that's honestly not my problem. Y'all were 2v2. So I'm going to leap on the phase. He went ahead and flashed, but it looks like the Greystone is going to secure that here. Alright, we're going to go ahead and take gold. Gold's not here, got the timer. That's alright. See what there is to see. I see that his red is about to spawn because I don't know why I would know that, but I see it. So I'm on my way to that. And on my way to that, I'm going to go ahead and grab some of his camp because he's under me. I'm above him and there's nothing he can do about it. On top of that, I still have mini prime. I was going to go for the howitzer, I turn around, I see that somebody's on red. Oh look at that, it's the little sparrow. So, we beat her into submission, then he runs. So, I just missed the swing to keep my stacks up. However, because I am higher level than him, I swing faster and hit harder. So ultimately, we did survive that and Morgesh was able to secure the kill. In addition to that, me having mini prime, there was no way that he was going to beat me <laughs> and uh with that i see them fighting the phase and the howitzer i'm on my way because no fear in my heart it doesn't matter how much health i have i can regain that i also have my ult go ahead and ult the phase i see the howitzer jump up i'm swinging at the phase she blinds me and then we still kill the howitzer and it's gg man <laughs> so we go ahead and back because we do have 2k and we got that moolah to spend. So we're going to go do that. Nothing that we can get completed, but that's okay. All items acquired increase power. So, still want to do that. Yep. And now we're back off into the races. I wonder where I'm going. Joking. I'm going red buff. And with that, go ahead and check the scoreboard. I see that we're doing pretty good nothing to worry about we're pushing all the lanes right now all three lanes are pushing nice and split system you guys Morgesh got the chimera kill embarrassing for him congratulations to her and now we're taking the buffs we're going to check the river buff we're going to see about prime soon took that green buff told my team to let's go get prime not sure if they were going to come but I was going to start it anyway to see what I'm able to do as a chimera as I'm fighting it, I quickly realize this thing will kill me before I kill it, but I'm still going to try. Now, I'm telling my team, hey team, come help your boy, because I can't do this alone. But, uh, no response. So, as a chimera, I said, just keep swinging, but then the swinging just wasn't enough. So I had to back off this. And I did not realize that the balls that it shot were so detrimental to my health. Because damn dog, I just got deleted. However, that will be my last death. <laughs> These are just learning curves. And uh, don't be afraid to die in the game. Dying is how you learn what you're capable of, okay? Don't ever let anybody tell you you're dying too much unless you're 4 and 10 then you're dying way too fucking much okay but waiting on these death timers we're looking at the fight seeing what's going on nice little alt from howie he's trying to get up out there but that graystone mm, unable to secure the kill and now we're back Ooh, but the morgash finished him noise that's what i love about that girl she's just so toxic anyway we're going to go ahead and grab my next upgrade to this item once I realize that I've revived. And then we're going to go ahead and get up out of here. This time we're going to go blue only because red's not available. <laughs> Actually, I see the fight going on and I'm trying to let them know that I'm coming. But I'd say attack or prime to get it in their mind that after this fight, that's where we go. Just so they're aware of my intentions. I see the sparrow at the top, so I'm going around. I'm letting them know that I'm coming. 
And with that, I enter the fight. Go ahead and spaz out on the spade. I got blinded, so I couldn't see her, so I start swinging at whatever I'm hitting. It was the sparrow. Good enough for me. Teleport on the Morgesh. Keep swinging at her. She does her little fast run. I said, baby, you're not fast enough. Now I'm telling my team to back up off this and let's go get that big, big purple boy over here in the corner. But I see out the corner of my eye, the Kai, Mera, and I'm like, why? He must be here because he's ready to die. I'm like, all right, he's going to blink on him. But he loots him with his old acid bah, you not leave. And now... We're gonna go finally take the Orb Prime because the team finally got the clue uh, to follow the strongest member. You know, the strongest of the there is. Now we start taking Orb Prime, and to my surprise, they no longer wanna play the game. What's that? A forfeit. And that, my ladies and gentlemen, friends and family, is how you become the better Chimera. GG's, everybody.